In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use reference and multi-reference fields with code in Wix Studio. Reference fields in the Wix CMS allow us to store data across multiple collections and create logical connections between items, enabling us to scale our site's data in a structured manner. There are several ways to work with reference and multi-reference fields. Here, we'll cover how to use these with the data SDK and by directly querying our collections. We can also use reference fields with datasets. For more information on that, check out this video's description. Let's consider a classic example. Suppose we have a collection of music pieces. Initially, we might want to include the composer's name in the same collection, but what happens when we want to add more details about each composer, such as their date of birth, a bio, an image, and so on? We could add this information to each line, but this approach is redundant. It increases the collection size unnecessarily and adds extra effort for no reason. Instead, we can create a second collection called Composers, and in this collection, we'll save the extended data about the musicians. Then, from our Music Pieces collection, we'll reference each item to the correct composer. Now that we've established logical references between these collections, we can customize how our data is used on our site with some code. Let's see how. Take a look at this backend file. Here we have a data query that returns the items from our classic Music Pieces collection. When we test this function, it returns the data along with some information about the referenced field, but only the referenced field ID. To fix this, we can add a line to our query to include the referenced field's details. So here we'll add the line include and pass composer as a parameter to refer to the field name in the collection. Now when we test the function again, we'll see that the composer's field is now an object and it contains all the details from our referenced collection. Reference fields can have either a one-to-one -one connection or a one-to-many connection. A one-to-one -one connection makes sense for musical pieces with just a single composer, just like we demonstrated. But there are times that we will want to refer to more than one piece of information. So let's take it a step further and examine what happens when we use a multi-reference field. We'll first expand our example by including a collection of cities, since composers may have lived in multiple places during their lives. We'll return to our composers collection and add a new field. Here we'll define this field as a multi-reference field and connect it to the cities collection. When we connect the field to the new referenced collection, we can add multiple items to each field. Back to our code. Let's add another query, this time to our composers collection, and add another include line to add the data about our cities. When we query the composers collection and include the multi-reference field in our query, we will receive an array containing the item's objects, that is, each city's data in the results. When planning our site's database schema, it's important to consider how we will work with data across collections. The best and most efficient way to connect data across collections is to use reference and multi-reference fields where needed and query these efficiently in our code. For more information, code snippets, and examples, check out our documentation and join our community on Discord.